Alright, so my friend Zero Fred Zero M made a video about how to be a pro at forts. But what is the point of being a pro? What we need is death, raining from above. Terror. Fear. Pain. We need tier 3s. A lot of tier 3s. And the RNG gods on our side. Now, you may have seen people use portals for tier 3s, they are lazy heretics and need to be stopped, this is only acceptable in extreme situations, tier 3s need to be accessible to everyone, whether or not they have moonshot DLC. Tier 3s need to be unbiased in politics, gender, PC specs, and many more. Only shall they judge base design, and the ruling of the RNG gods. So when the round starts you are going to want technology, and economy. I recommend going with the armory because the workshop only gives you tier 1 and tier 2 mortars and that's pathetic, but we want tier 3. Also you are likely going to have to tank when people notice your shenanigans, and countering nukes will be a critical ability in surviving. On some maps you may want to preform a core swing, as this may give you additional room for more tier 3s, or allow for a better defense and allowing more time for RNG to do its work. As you build your base you need to keep a large area in the back of your base open, like this. By the time you have the munitions plant built, you want to have a setup like this, where each tier 3 platform is supported on one side by ropes, it is important that no other brace connects to this node, and supported on the opposite side by bracing. You then want to place your cannons, as close as possible to this node. Be aware that once you swing a cannon you may not be able to build the next so it is advised that you build all the cannons before swinging them. Once you are ready to swing the cannons, delete the bracing holding the tier 3 platform and wait for it to stop swinging, or don't and risk dropping a cannon. Secure the tier 3 platform to nearby bracing and you are done. Now should some noob on the other team try and use tier 1 or tier 2 mortars, or even be skilled enough to retaliate with their own tier 3s you will need to door your tier 3s, I find this to be one of easiest arrangements to do so. When you think you are ready you can progress to a more compact design like this, and begin raining death and destruction upon your opponents.